What's up, what's up everyone? In this video we're going to be comparing the deep research capabilities with Grok 3 and Perplexity. I have two prompts that I'm going to walk through in this video and let's see and compare how well Grok 3 does compared to Perplexity. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Alright, so I built out a prompt here. Let's use Perplexity first. So I have this prompt conduct a comprehensive literature review on the impact of artificial intelligence on global workforce trends, uh, summarize key findings, critically evaluate research methodology, uh, methodologies, and identify potential areas for future study. All right, while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and open up Grok. So Grok 3 is now yeah, available to everyone for free. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here too. And let's start the deep search here. So as you can see here on Perplexity, it's going through the different steps. So it's reviewing search results from recent literature, identifying key findings, doing a few different searches online. And over here on Grok, we have the deep research happening here. So looking at the research scope, I'm considering academic databases like Google Scholar or Science Direct. See if web search can help find review papers. So it looks like on Perplexity that it found a range of articles. It did some searches for empirical analysis and reviews on the impact of AI. And now it's going through focusing on limitations of research methodologies. So it looks like Grok 3 has finished. And it's got the key citations here, some of the sources. All right, so with Grok 3, you can see here uh, it took a minute and 10 seconds, went through 16 sources, it went through a thinking phase, so explored the research scope it found some initial results. It browsed the results here and then it looks like it searched for alternatives on brookings.edu. Looks like it also checked the recent White House report for the US here on whitehouse.gov. Uh, key points, AI impacts global workforce. Advanced economies face 60% job impact. Changing global workforce by automating routine tasks, skills, and adaptation. Rise of AI demands new, school, uh, new skills, including technical ones like machine learning and data analytics. So now let's talk about job displacement and creation. So AI's impact on employment. So you have pessimistic scenarios predicting 47 to 50% of US EU jobs at risk within the next 20 years. We have the workforce ecosystems transformation, critical evaluation of research methodologies. So methodologies vary across sources with literature reviews, economic analysis, systemic, uh, systematic reviews, thought pieces. Uh, also, potential areas for future research. So several gaps in current research suggest areas for future study. More empirical studies, policy effectiveness, skill development, demographic impact, and long-term studies. So this underscores the transformative potential of AI on global workforce trends, highlighting the need for adaptive strategies and ongoing research to navigate these changes effectively. And then it's got links here. So yeah, pretty good, I think, surface level research from Grok3. Let's go ahead and check Perplexity. All right, so on Perplexity, we have 61 sources that were researched, so quite a lot, uh, significant amount more than uh, what Grok had with the 15 sources. And we have a comprehensive literature review here. Um, has precipitated transformative shifts in employment patterns, skill requirements, organizational strategies. So we have findings from 35 peer-reviewed studies, industry reports, and cross-national analysis published between 2020 and 2025. 
with three dominant themes, AI-driven productivity gains, coexists with sector-specific job displacement, and manufacturing of admin roles. Gen AI is reshaping, uh, reshaping global talent acquisition strategies. The evolving workplace demands hybrid skill sets combining technical AI literacy with enhanced soft skills. Saw a little bit of that in um, the deep research from Grok3. We have AI-driven productivity gains and employment polarization. A lot of really good stats here. Very specific robotic automation with AI here. Some of the stats there. Agriculture and construction sectors. Service industries. Gen AI and the domestic foreign worker gap here with Gen AI and globalization of talent markets. So LinkedIn's 2024 workforce, uh, workforce report reveals 14% annual increase in AI-assisted hiring processes, 37% shorter time to hire through predictive candidate matching, 22% broader geographical sourcing per open position. So we have dual evolution of workplace skills, so LinkedIn's 2025 skills report shows 177% growth in AI prompt engineering listings, 92% data analyst uh, roles requiring machine learning, 68% marketing uh, positions demanding generative content skills with AI. 74% of employers now require AI certifications for promotions compared to 32%. AI has also elevated human-centric capabilities with the resurgence of soft skills, so communication skills, problem-solving, and emotional intelligence. Talks about some of the limitations in existing research. Also talks about research frontiers and policy implications with human complementary AI systems ethical international uh, labor arbitrage. Yeah, so it's interesting, it gave policy recommendations here with national AI apprenticeship program, corporate accredited micro-credential systems, adaptive learning pr uh, platforms with real-time market alignment. So this is, yeah, 10,000 word um, research report from per, uh, perplexity here so yeah i think i will give the win here to perplexity um you know grok seems to be pretty good but it's like very surface level only did a handful of research uh reach uh research on the sources here with 15 sources and it found 10 web pages here with research gate white house gov imf um, yeah, it only looks like a few maybe peer-reviewed articles, but in the uh, one with perplexity here, there were 35 peer-reviewed studies that it pulled. So a lot deeper, deep research, um, yeah, in this. You can see here with the uh, different sources that it has. So all of these, Nature, HBR, yeah, there's a lot um, added in here, some other research papers too. So yeah, definitely got to give the win uh, to perplexity on this one. All right, I have one more prompt to do, so let's go ahead and start this one. So this is perform an in-depth SWOT analysis and scenario planning exercise for a traditional retail company transitioning to e-commerce, address market dynamics, competitor strategies, risk factors, and propose actual long-term strategies for digital transformation. So let's go ahead and start this. Let's start this in Grok as well. And we'll see yeah, which is the clear winner on this. Now here you have, again, with deep search on Grok3, it looks like this is definitely going much faster compared to uh, Perplexity, but Perplexity is doing a much better job at verifying, you know, are the sources that I'm finding in this deep research aligning with the initial prompt, the goals of that. So um, right now, yeah, it looks like deep search with Grok3 is mainly doing surface level information, kind of trying to find the quickest answers uh, to that, the sources uh, to that. Um, what perplexity is giving more well-rounded um, resources on that. 
Now this is looking more promising for Grok on this one. It's got 18 pages now for sources. For Perplexity, we already have 28 sources in here. So articles discussing the SWOT analysis, specifically tailored to retail companies transitioning to e-commerce. So 37 sources here. And looks like, yeah, Grok's already completed at one minute and eight seconds with 26 sources added in here. So, and I like this on Grok, how it kind of explains this with the thinking process. This is laid out a little bit different than perplexity. Interesting. So it went through and browsed the results. And then here, yeah, it talks about some of the key points. So transitioning to e-commerce involves analyzing strengths, like brand loyalty, supply chain, weaknesses like a lack of online expertise. Opportunities include reaching more customers online and using data for insights. All threats include competition. Yeah, it gives a breakdown of the SWOT analysis. Scenario planning. Uh, actionable long-term strategies. So detail analysis, comprehensive analysis of the transition from traditional retail to e-commerce. <coughs> so SWOT analysis in depth. So companies establish brand recognition, can attract online shoppers. So actionable long-term strategies for digital transformation. Develop a hybrid model physical and online operations, using stores for pickups and returns, as Walmart does, uh, invest in technology like Shopify, analytics tools, um, and trade Gecko and MailChimp, um, user-friendly website, if they don't already have an e-commerce website yet, uh, foster a culture of innovation, Partner with other companies, so logistics providers for shipping, shipping as Ocado did with automated warehouses. Yeah, so this is pretty good uh, re research here on this one from Grok3. Now let's look at the uh, 49 sources from Perplexity. So unprecedented disruption with e-commerce projected to account for 38% of total retail sales by 2026. Yeah, that's a big jump here. I like that industry trend. So market dynamics. So we have omnichannel imperative, unified inventory systems, contextual personalization, frictionless returns, competitive landscape, Amazon's AI first approach, Walmart's physical digital, yeah, with the that's what we saw with Grok. It's being able to have a physical presence, but doing a lot of online um, returns and pickups. Comprehensive SWOT analysis, brand equity, physical infrastructure, vendor relationships, um, weaknesses, technical debt, cultural inertia, cost structures, opportunities, digital levers. Hyper local e commerce. Hmm, you know, this is pretty good. Uh, scenario planning framework. So, accelerated digital adoption and best case market conditions, uh, strategic deploy edge computing and stores for real time analytics. That's, yeah, a lot of what we're seeing and some of our customers with OnStack at our company. Um, NFT based loyalty programs mm, depends on how that's done not as great strategy today yeah i have to give this to perplexity again this is just yeah way way better a lot more detailed information and resources that it pulled um now i like the layout of grok here um but i have to give yeah that to perplexity on the deep research capabilities um i there are some things here yeah from the grok search that it pulled that I didn't see in perplexity. So I, I, I'd say, you know, maybe using both of them uh, and combining the results would be something unique 
um, but yeah, I highly recommend checking out Perplexity um, and also Grok 3. They're both free to try out, and you get a handful of deep research uh, prompts every day. So check that out. If you have any particular deep research topics or things you'd like me to, you know, drop in and search, would love to do another video on that. Also going to be doing some more info on Grok 3 video coming here soon. Um, I'm the AI architect for OnStack at OnStack.com. ONSTAK.com. So I lead a lot of global AI initiatives with our team. Uh, I lead a lot of AI workshops all across the world with big tech companies and also other SMEs. So if you have questions about AI, happy to dive into more details, answer those questions for you. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And with that, thanks for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.